and we're on. Welcome, mortal kind, to Quest Accepted, a TTRPG actual play stream. My name is Marco, and I will be your game master. Tonight, we are premiering the first Quest Accepted stream, and we're doing so with Darrington Press's own Candela Obscura. Woo! Uh, Woo! Yeah, no, we can celebrate that, absolutely. <laughs> uh, but uh, before we get started, we do have a few announcements to make. Firstly, welcome, once again, to Quest Accepted. Uh, we will be starting a long-form fantasy campaign around mid-October, uh, which we're very excited about. You can see the teaser down below me for coming mid-October. Um, what we are doing, what Quest Accepted aims to do is be more than just a TTRPG stream. We want to build a community for others to join, play, and showcase their skills. We're aiming to build a platform to empower and collaborate, to foster growth and acceptance, and through the mediums, primarily of storytelling, uh, promote continued learning and creativity to improve ourselves and the world around us. If you are interested in joining us on this endeavor, or just be part of a kick-ass community, uh, hit the follow button. Uh, for here, we will be streaming again in the future, uh, before we release on our official page on this page again uh and before we release our discord and socials and all that stuff so as of right now this is the place to get all quest accepted related uh information uh with that let's meet our wonderful cast of players we have tonight for our own candela obscure assignment carnage for my valentine uh let's go ahead and start with matt what's going on everybody my name is matt uh, I'm going to be playing Clifford Crease tonight, and uh, I'm really excited to be here with, with my friends. That's it. That's all I got. We are excited. Gigi. Hi, I'm Gigi. I'm playing Millicent Mortimer, and I am very excited to be here tonight. So cheers. Fantastic. Emily. Hi, my name is Emily, and if any of my friends are here from over yonder, you might know me from the Missing Role Player Found podcast, but I'm here today playing Acela de Luna, who is a very strange woman, and we'll see what the heck is going to happen with her today. Indeed we will. And Stephen. Why, hello folks. I, uh, I'm playing Warner Barnesworth, a.k.a. Bonds. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to get started. Uh, yeah, Fantastic. I can't wait. I'm also excited. And once again, I am Marco. I will be your game master for tonight and your light keeper, Ash Hathaway. Um, so let us get the setting. As the sun begins to set, bringing an orange and pink sky with cotton candy clouds, the street lights of Amity Park begin to light up. The calls of parents for their children to return home are heard from the streets, and the kids make their way. Tomorrow I'll be sure to hide better. Nah, I'm gonna be a detective for the periphery one day. You'll never get away. They jeer at each other. As the gentle glow of the lamps light up the park, a string quartet begins to play in the park's gazebo, across the fountain, and a crowd begins to form. Further up, a married couple take their beagle on a stroll, eagerly pulling at the leash to chase the ducklings in the fountains. What's the skill? The wife yells as the husband laughs between puffs of his pipe. It would seem normalcy has returned to the citizens of Hale uh, these few years after the last great war. A new flower garden on the north side of Amity Park memorializes those who served, but also encourages that the war is over and all citizens of Hale can look to the future with hope. Behind the garden, between the bushes and the vine-covered walls of Amity Park comes a sudden scream of horror and a terrible tearing sound. A periphery officer runs on duty uh, to discover the cause. The body of a beautifully dressed woman with no eyes, jaw opened two feet wide, and her bowels and guts ripped out of her torso on the ground next to her. A lovely bouquet of red carnations. Hmm. Semper Carillitus. You are called in by Candela Obscura to investigate the death of Mary Smith, the fourth victim in a string of horrifying murders. Smith, like the previous three victims, 
has been found missing her eyes, jaw ripped open, and her intestines and organs eviscerated. You begin behind the war memorial of Amity Park in Briar Green. The periphery have begun putting police tape up and onlookers, while struggling, are being asked to remove themselves. Amongst the crowd, observing the scene, you see Ash Hathaway, your light keeper. He turns to you all. All right, great. You guys are here. Thank you for answering the call. Welcome back. Um, here's what we know. Well, at this point, why don't we all describe what our characters look like? So starting with uh, Clifford Crease. Clifford Crease is uh, a not very tall man, about five foot nine. He's uh, rather thin, uh, gaunt of the face, you know, not an ugly face, but definitely looks like he's missed a few meals. Um, his hair is just wild, like can't tame it. If you put a hat on it, it would fly off. Uh, he wears a what used to be a white shirt that is now stained this kind of pale yellow. Um, he wears a blue, almost purple vest and pants to match. Uh, they do have a nice crease in them. That's his surname. Uh, he's wearing these, what would look very nice on other people, these black shoes, uh, but are like clearly just a couple sizes too big and tied like extra tight. Um, and uh, he constantly has a unlit stove, just like this little cigarello in his hand that he's, he uses mostly to point. Never really smokes it. Uh, Gigi. I'm playing Millicent. Uh, she is average height. Um, she is pretty much kind of considered the ideal of this time period. She's got a round face, very porcelain, nice um, blush. You can see the blush is actually painted on her face. You can also see her, her eyelashes are um, kind of elongated or have the illusion of using soot and Vaseline um, and a little bit of rouge upon her lips. Um, this is due to her background in the stage. She has kind of auburn hair and big dark eyes that expression changes consistently depending on who she's talking to. She's currently wearing an outfit that is very much of the aesthetic um, movement. So very sumptuous silk velvet uh, and these kind of tealy colors uh, that are mimicking and heralding back to, to these older images of medieval times and such um, to, to basically kind of call out that she herself is an artist as well. Um, so that's Millicent. Nice. Uh, em Emily. Yes. Acela de Luna is a woman with skin that is far too pale. You've heard the term sun-kissed? No. Nay, she be but moon-kissed. She has long, dark, sickly-looking hair and wears a white dress that appears more like a nightgown than a dress. Mildly, also, inappropriate for the area, but she doesn't seem to care. All right, and Barnsworth, Steve. Um, you see, probably about, I'd say, five ten, uh, five ten, very wide shoulders, but also accompanied by a, uh, just bulbous belly. Um, he currently has a, um. Uh, mutton chops going around, going on that that kind of flare out to the sides, uh, and a, uh, a a beard that's sort of grown in, maybe from just not keeping up with it, not shaving it. Um, there is a cut within his uh, when he, within his mutton chops that is almost like half of a Glasgow smile. Uh, he's wearing a leather duster. Uh, along with a leather vest underneath, maybe for some added protection. Um, he always seems to have either a drink handy or want to get a drink nearby. Um, uh, very rough in the face, and also hands. Um, he, he has definitely seen his fair share of hard jobs. Um, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, 
as you all approach, you see Ash Hathaway. He is a sort of almost middle-aged sort of man with a goatee, small beard, and he's wearing a blue vest, red uh, tie, and his uh, jacket is slung over his arm with his sleeves of his shirt rolled up. Uh, he turns to you guys, taking some notes, finishing taking some notes. He slams over closed uh, his pocketbook, uh, on the cover of which is the Semper uh, Corellitus symbol, the smoky hand coming off of the lantern that, uh, or off the candle that it, it holds. He turns to you all. Great. You guys are here. Perfect. So, uh, here's what we know. As you guys can see, turns to the to the body of Miss Smith, turns back to you guys. Uh, Vic is a 22-year-old female. Uh, it looks like there's definitely some kind of magic or phenomena at play here. Eyes look like they were scooped out. Um, her jaw, as you can see, it's open two feet wide. And uh, her bowels are just everywhere. Um, I've got some information on some other Vicks that came in. Mm. Uh, he hands you guys a pamphlet, or not a pamphlet, uh, like a folder with some information in in there and then uh if you guys have any questions let me know i'll be back at hq this should have everything for you uh don't get caught by the periphery and keep an eye out for eon agents all right we don't want any anything to do with their enforcers just watch it i feel like they might be sniffing around as well okay any questions yeah why do you think they're sniffing around well this has bleed all over it Obviously, so, there's blood everywhere. Yeah. I mean, oh, bleed. <laughs> Got it. My bad. It's, uh, it's all right. It's all right. I know this is just his second assignment. It's good. All right. Any other questions? We're each in the, I'm looking through the pamphlets. Do each of the victims have a flower attached to them? Uh, so the victims that you see in the pamphlets. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in Astor Lane, in the Seidel, was Anna Bates. Anna Bates was murdered in a very similar way. Okay. Uh, there are chocolates that were found there, uh, red carnations, and uh, no sign of a male escort. Okay. But she had previously been going out on a date or earlier that night. Uh, the other person in the list is Phyllis Barrow, uh, she was found behind the she was find, found in the alley behind uh, Tramp's Italian restaurant in the varnish. Uh, she was also supposed to be out on a date. No male escort to be found. Um, they had there was a bottle of half drunk wine and also red carnations. Um, mm -hmm. Then the other victim is Rose Baxter. Uh, her body was actually found in the love tunnel, like uh, at, it's on the pier in Hallow Harbor. So as her body came out, her like the boat that she was sitting in Hallow Harbor came out of the tunnel. Uh, her dead body was there and no male escort to be found. Nothing else was found at the scene either. Okay, no car carnations there? None that was found at the scene. Um, quick question about carnations. Um. In this world, and what I know as an opera singer who, who occasionally gets flowers and bouquets and stuff after performances, is there a language of flowers in this 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 world? Um, carnations are just like a nice flower that people pick. I mean, sure, there are there must be a language of flowers of some sort. Mm -hmm. uh, roses are generally a lot more uh, passionate and romantic. Carnations are friendlier, so you know that mm -hmm. uh, tulips are very elegant, and that daisies are a little more uh, plain or sympathetic. There's no like, th there's no hidden meaning with these flowers and where they're placed or anything like that. Okay. No, not in particular. Like if somebody like no. it, it would seem that anything that was on the person was like or near the person was something that they were carrying. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, any other questions? Yeah, guys, I got to get back to HQ. Nah, I'm good. Thank you. They're currently setting up a perimeter around the body, is what you're saying? Yeah, he, like, looks over his shoulder, and you can see there he's a little, like, 
Ash is a little ways away. He doesn't want to attract too much attention, but you can see that there are periphery agents or periphery uh, officers putting up uh, police tape. And some of them are telling like the crowd to like, hey, come on, let's move on. Like, get out of here. They, the body is not yet covered by any kind of medical investigator. It's just got like a, co a cop's coat there. Um, you do notice uh, somebody that you would be semi-familiar with. Uh, uh, Jimmy McIntosh. He is a journalist for the Daily Hail, and he looks like he's been here for a while. He's a, a younger looking guy. He's got a basic work shirt and some brown pants. Um, and he's got a hat similar to what Barnes is wearing. Um, the other person that you might recognize is Inspector Barnaby Ferdinand of the periphery. He's kind of he's a little late on the scene and he's kind of uh, keeping an eye on things. Hmm. I'm going to make my you way to the Bird kid. You said Barnaby, Jimmy Bar Barnaby. Yeah, J Jimmy McIntosh, James McIntosh. He's a mm -hmm. reporter, a journalist, McIntosh. and uh, uh, Inspector Barnaby Ferdinand. He is a, a lieutenant for the periphery. Mm. Aside from that, it's a bunch of onlookers. Uh, uh, Sella, you want to come with me to see James? Are there any onlookers that seem particularly distraught, like they might be friends with this woman? Um, let's make, uh, make a read check. Okay. So with how this works, you have yes. your three dice, um, or I have two in my case of regular dice, and then I have a gilded dice. Do I roll the gilded dice or only if I want to want to use it now? No, so you have two boxes filled in reed, and you have it gilded, correct? Yes. So you will roll two dice, one okay. of which is gilded. Okay, fantastic. Uh, that is a five, not gilded. Uh, as of right now, you don't see anybody that looks like they would be related to the Vic, but um, it's... It, it's really hard to tell. The crowd is still pretty thick. Uh, so that's what you get. Cliff, you were saying something to Asella? Uh, yeah, Asella, do you want to come with me to talk to James? Of course. And I would like to get a hand. I would like to get my hands on some of those carnations, if possible. Oh, well, by... Oh, you mean from... Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's... Uh... She raises an eyebrow at that for a second and then puts it back down, <laughs> falling after you. Don't don't look into it. Like, God. Just... See about grabbing the chocolates, too, for science. Science. Or whatever. I... Got gotcha. everyone this hungry <laughs> and desperate. <Yes. laughs> hey. uh, Cliff and Acela, you guys make your way to Jimmy, who he, he is, his notepad is tucked away in his back pocket, and he just got his arms crossed, looking at the scene, kind of like looking around. And he notices you guys. If it isn't the Scooby gang, what's up, y'all? It's the mystery machine. You guys looking for monsters? I don't know what you're talking about, Jimmy. Uh, I'm going to try to pick his uh, notepad out. Okay. All right. Like, I'm going to go uh, for a hug like... and, like, pull it out, kind of, like, spin yeah. around him. Go for a control, uh, control check. And then, Asela, what's up? I was going to say, I feel like they've done this song and dance multiple times as well. So Acela is just also aiding by being a distraction in the background. Okay. Uh, definitely ma make a, um, uh, let's see here. Make a sway check, I guess. I rolled a one on the uh, control, by the way. So, okay, let's let's see. Let's see what. Uh what a cella manages i got a three and this is not something i'm trained in he <laughs> so, so you you have none of them so you roll two and take the let take the lesser right mm -hmm. okay uh cliff as you go to like give him a hug he like hey. gives you a hug and then grabs your wrist and pulls it up ah, and be like hey, ah, hey 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 it's all right it's all right you let go it's fine 
Uh, you want some information? Yeah. I can give you some info. You just gotta ask, buddy, but you won't be touching somebody's notepad. Listen, every time I ask you, you always want something from me, and you know that I'm trying to, like, straight and narrow, okay? Like... He gets close and puts his arm around your shoulder. Well, that's how it works, buddy. You know, it's a trade is a trade. You gotta give me information. You know, I'm a journalist. I trade in information. This is my job. This is what I live for. So, you got anything juicy? Jimmy, I've probably taken the least amount of showers since they've been invented, and you still make me feel slimy. Oh. Okay. Mm-hmm. Asela, do we have anything juicy? Asela pulls out an apple she had. You hungry? Yeah, I was thinking more in the eyes of something to do with the uh, triumvirate, but, uh... Alright, he grabs the... Does the apple look appealing? It's a Macintosh apple. It's appealing to him <laughs> specifically. I'll, I'll, he grabs it and he just kind of... <laughs> I don't know if this counts as cannibalism or not, but I'll tell you what. I, I'll, for, the, for, the, for the joke, I'll give, you, I'll give you something. And of course, like she, like when she gives him... She's obviously just like very neutral <laughs> face the entire time. Like she barely even smiles as she hands it over. Look at that. She, she, she looks, likes you. He looks at... She looks at, he looks at Cliff just like that means she likes Yeah, she's still she's still the same, huh? We're we'll working on it. We'll All right. on it. He he puts the apple in his mouth and pulls his notepad out and starts going through. And just like looks and looks and looks. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Mm, that's not bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um All right, I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. You might find you know the investigation at uh, at Hallow Harbor at the tunnel at the Tunnel of Love that what Lover's Tunnel wasn't really all that detailed. You may be able to find something like that. I tried to get into the ride itself, but I got caught. So if you're smart, that'd be smart. Like it'd be good to check out. Um, and that's all you get. Okay. All right, I gotta write my stuff. So you kids have fun. Chasing down your ghosts and your demons and whatever it is you guys are doing. Yeah, okay. It's just like this little hand wave. Uh, yeah, I, you have a good one. <laughs> See, you uh, he starts. He starts to walk away, and uh, as this is happening, Barnes and and, and Millicent, uh, you guys notice from the far side of the park, uh, some not quite armored, but like. Uh, more th brusquely dressed individuals come out with uh, a symbol on their arm, E-O-N-S. It's just like three guys and one like very tall standing thin woman with like uh, sort of like what, you, what would be a, a business sort of outfit and high heels, stiletto heels. Uh, you guys do recognize this person as Candace Sutton. Uh, in a primary investigating agent for the eons, um, they and you know the eons are interested in uh, magic and in phenomena and things like that. They start making their way in. Um, it's not somebody that you know that you typically want to interact with. You kind of want to avoid the eons best you can, but it's you might be able to glean something. You know that they sometimes have valuable information, so you can get stuff off of them. Can I like? How close are we to to what is going on with Estella and um with Estella and Cliff? And Cliff, yeah. Yeah. So they're roughly like between 30 and 50 feet away from you, but closer to like where the body is. Mm -hmm. Uh you can see that Candace and the Eons are off about like 80 feet to your side and they're making their way towards the body. Uh whether they have recognized you guys as uh Sebracorelatus is uncertain. Okay, so we need we need to get out. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, your decision. essentially, I'm gonna like look over to Barnes and be like, "Do you want to stay around and look at anything?" But I think we need to get going. I'm gonna go get nah, Barnes. nah. I'm I'm with you. Let's let's keep heading on. Yeah, getting out of this mess. Yeah, I kind of dodge between people to make sure that I'm not seen as I try to get the rest of our group. 
Okay. Most people aren't really paying attention to you guys. Um, you I do have a few onlookers that think that you're like, oh, really hot. Um, because naturally. Uh, and some people do take note of Barnes because he's like, he's like probably one of the biggest guys present. But I am from shoulder that... checking everybody trying to hide <laughs> between them. Trying to hide I... between. Oh, 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 got you. Like, I, I got you. I got you. I'm trying to follow the path that uh millicent is making and i'm right. failing every time okay all right make a <laughs> you know what just for fun make a hide check <laughs> now bonzi we've been working on this <laughs> <laughs> that is going to be a one you not only shoulder check everybody trying to stay hidden you at one point shoulder check this one guy who looks like he can take it, but he's not paying enough attention. You hit him like right in the back and it knocks him and like this woman next to him over and Candace just zoom straight at you. Sorry, you I gotta go. Her face just goes like, fuck. Uh, <laughs> and she starts walking to you guys with three. Watch where you're going, pal. And I'll start, start them. briskly running with them or towards them. Okay. We so gotta run you, my now. fate is: Do I just go up to Candace and stall her as I look for everybody else to get out, and we'll meet at the, you know, well, at another every, place? Everybody's in view. Um, okay. So, so what are Cliff and Acela doing? So, uh, Jim, Jimmy has walked away, and there's still the body there to look at. Acela, you wanted some flowers. Yes, I want the flowers. Let's, uh, I'll, uh, lead the way. <laughs> I uh, thought she ate the flowers, but that was you eating a snack. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, you guys approach the, the, the police tape where the body is behind. Uh, there is one periphery officer that has his back. He's standing on the other side of the body, stands his back. And there, and the officer that's supposed to be in front of the thing is talking to Officer Ferdinand. Can I attempt to um, detect if there's any bleed in this area? Go for it. Make a roll. All right. Sense with a gilded die. Ooh, double sixes. Uh, six on my gilded and regular. You got double sixes. Mm -hmm. Starting okay. strong. All right. So, so that's a success and something you get something extra. Mm -hmm. Um, almost like the ghostly form that you uh, evoke. You your body and movement is just so fluid. You actually like almost like limbo underneath the police tape. You get close. You feel the bleed coming off of the flowers in particular. Uh, the yes. wounds also have a bleed, but there is an incredibly strong source of bleed. And you can't see this, but you can sense that there's a very strong source of bleed in the middle of her back. You can feel an oval-shaped puncture wound right in the middle of her back, like her upper back. Um, again, you don't see this, but you can feel that it's there. It's very present. Can I can I try and touch it? Uh, yeah, go for it. I desire to to do this. Wallace, yeah. Sellers. So, right. so you you kind of kneel down by the body. Uh, Cliff, you notice that the police are about to turn around. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I wanted to eavesdrop and listen to what they were saying, and kind of like seeing that she's Sella's doing her thing. Uh, okay, you can make a recheck if you want. Yeah. Um, okay, read. Six. Six. Wait, would it be read or would it be... Uh, uh, or survey? Sorry, I feel like it would be... Well, survey, I have a gilded, so but I just already rolled, so whatever you want to call it. Unless you want me to roll again. Uh, no, we'll keep your roll. It doesn't matter, because... Yeah, I think that's fine. Um... I'm like looking at the abilities and just may or looking at the actions and just like making sure this is still new guys. Uh, we're still learning it. Um, so 
I think read would be good. No, I, I think survey is probably better. Search track spot. Survey or focus, your decision. Uh, survey. Yeah, because you'll get a gilded die for that. That makes perfect sense. Um, you hear that they are talking about the other victims. Uh, they're talking about it being a serial killer. All of the kills are exactly the same. Uh, this has been four young ladies that seem to have been going on a first date. And uh, they've all been murdered in the same way and around the same time of day as well, uh, mm -hmm. based on what they can find out. Um, and you do also hear about the wound in the middle of the back, the puncture wound. Uh, Acela, as you get close to feel the wound, there is no wound in the shirt. Like the shirt itself is not ripped. Um, but there you do feel and you can see like the blood is congealed here more than anywhere else in the body. Like it's still very liquid everywhere else. But here it's like congealed. And not only that, on the edges of the wound, it's like frozen. Like the blood is like frozen. All right, very strange question. Uh, can I use my gear of the bleed containment vial? Uh, yes, yes, you may. Would you like to get a sample Collect of something? A sample, a yeah. sample of that, and also, can I grab a carnation? Just kind of like hold it in my teeth for while I'm doing this. Just like I'm trying to multitask. Like, yeah, fair. Uh, that, that's cool. Do a uh, control check. Let's see how good you are at getting all this done uh, before you get spotted, or a hide. One of the two. Control or hide. If uh, they're turning around, I want to try to cause a distraction. It'll let her do what she needs. I'd like to use a drive on my hide. Then I'm also Go for it. I'm also going to give her a drive. Okay. All right. Keep track of your drives. Come yeah. on, baby. Fight fire with fire. So. My best roll there was a three. Out of three drives? I, I rolled one, two, and a three. God bless America. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> OK. Oh, oh, fair light keeper. But what would about... I be able to add a post drive? <laughs> no, you may not. <laughs> what, about... what about a reverse? How about no, my distraction? You may not. How good can was I, that? Wait, can I take a resistance? You can. Oh, you can take oh, a resistance. Yeah, you can. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so that means I re-roll, right? One Correct. of them? Yes. Correct. All right. Well, it depends on how many you have. You're the weird, right? I have, yeah, I have one resistance You have there. one resistance. Yes, you may. Yes. Please. Starting off early, guys. <laughs> <laughs> roll the one again. God. You roll the one again. No! Um, don't you, don't okay. you have to use it? <laughs> You manage to get the carnation in your mouth. That's the easiest thing to do. You do not manage to get anything in the vial. And the, like, Ferdinand looks at Cliff, notices, like, because you guys have known each other uh, a little bit. You've had some interactions. He sees you guys as more of a nuisance, but mostly harmless. Mm -hmm. uh, looks at him, his eyes narrow, and he looks at the body, and you're just, like, hunched over it. And he just like, hey, get away from there. And he like, and he like hits the other periphery officer. What are you doing? Are you not keeping an eye on? And he calls the other guy, Simmons, Simmons, get over here. And he gets, and he, as he's walking past you, uh, Cliff, Cliff, I've told you time. How many times have I told you? Hey, this is periphery hey, listen, matter. I totally get it. But you and your gang of freaks aren't welcome on my crime scene. Why don't you go fuck yourself? And I punch him in the you, face. Why don't you go... <laughs> you want me to arrest you? You're gonna, you're gonna what? I'm gonna punch him in the face. <laughs> can I Can I stop them, these gentlemen? Can I... Can, can I move in front of the hit? <laughs> okay. Um. Here's what we're gonna do. I have no love Gigi. lost for these people. <laughs> what are you trying to do to stop this? I am going to try to get in the middle of them and be like, gentlemen. Okay. Oh, so nice to see you again, Ferdy. So the, the, the hit is coming. Yes. Um, I will, I will have Barnes attempt to take the hit, make a move check real quick. Okay. Okay. Cause I feel like your approach is more like, 
gentle and his is yeah. just like i gotta get in the middle of this before my buddy gets arrested exactly all right uh so i'm, I'm gonna let to... barnes try to go first okay i'm gonna use one drive all right let's go Very mr muscle dramatic dice today sensational uh the gilded was a four okay and that is All what right. i choose so here's what we're gonna do this is gonna resolve first and then gg we're gonna go to your action cliff mm -hmm. so i'm still i'm still running through the crowd yeah that's fine uh and candace is coming towards you cliff mm -hmm. are you weak at the wrist or at the show at the elbow no <laughs> Well, or the knuckles, the wrist. All right. You go to punch Ferdinand, who just he looks more than anything like surprised that like the gall of the, like he's really going to hit a periphery officer. Like, right you know, now. you fucks are dirty and deserve it. And and while that may be true, Barnes comes in. Barnes, are you going to take you're going to take the hit? It's going to hit you in the jaw. It just okay. bam, right there. Um, you crack a tooth, and uh, you sprain your wrist. God, it's like hitting a slab of meat. Um, we need to get out of here. What did they and feed right you? Now. So Fuck. Barnes turns to Cliff immediately. Uh, oh. Millicent, you now have an opportunity to try to speak to Barnaby Fer Inspector Ferdinand. Bertie, uh, I am terribly sorry for my friends. You know, he was in the war and don't apologize for me. So ag agitated. I, I do understand that there are rules and that there is decorum that we must follow to have a society. And I look over to, to Barnes. But I'm hoping that this was, he was just a little remembering all the hard times that he faced. This was a simple accident. Make a sway check. Can I still attempt to uh, just like not even hide anymore? Just go down and try and like take that sample and just dash Six. away if possible? Non gilded. Okay. Acel, I'll get to you in a second. Mm -hmm. uh, Perfect. Millicent. Six. You get all up on him with like some charm and decorum and like trying to be friendly and Ferdinand, while he is a very well decorated and, and responsible uh, officer seems to get really flush in the face and a little sweaty, especially for a married man. Uh, and he's just like, <clears throat> well, uh, I, he kind of looks at, at Cliff hurt, like holding his wrist and, and Barnes just kind of like pushing him back. I will, let this pass if uh, stay away from my crime scenes. Don't investigate anymore. Don't get all in our business. And if the magnificent Miss Millicent Mortimer could uh, facilitate some tickets to her next show, uh, the wife would be terribly interested to see you perform. Yeah, I'm sure she'd be terribly interested to see your flushing face. You quiet your mouth, Cliff. I, I look over to, I give this death glare the That's... imagine like you know the the late like the queen of the night like she's just put on that performance and just glares at you with like this mm. and then she goes back and she's like yes i would love to i always love to visit a fan and if she would like to i could love i would love to have some tea with her if she has any questions about my performances he goes his eyes go very wide he's like she would absolutely love that no fantastic um, now, if you'd please do me the favor of getting your little posse out of my crime scene, that would be great. Um, Acela. And I give her, um, I give him my, like, basically calling card. Yeah, your calling card. You. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah, you, like, place it, like, right in his pocket, and he just kind <clears> of, <throat> ah, well, thank you very much. But please, if you may, uh, go away. Uh, Barnes, you do see Candace coming your way still. Uh, but before that, Acela, you're going to try, make a move, uh, oh a check. Be, to see if you can vile something up before the cops that the cops that have to both turn around and are coming for you to remove you from the crime scene if you can vile that before they're able to get to you four okay 
you do vial some up. You do manage to vial some of the wound up. Uh, are you going for the back wound blood or the or the the mouth, eyes, or bowels? The strongest, the strongest point, which would be in the back. Okay, the back. Yeah, you you get some blood on your fingers because you kind of got to scoop it out because it's a little congealed there still. Uh, and but you do get some of the shards of ice in there. Uh, you manage to pocket it, but both cops grab you. Uh, they lift you up and they carry you out, and they just kind of like shove you out and be like, "Stay out of the peripheries, business." At that point, Fernand looks at you guys. And I give I give kind of a nod, and I just kind of am like, "Well." Before yeah. Candace gets here, Get I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab uh, Cliff, like underneath the, his vest, and be like, "Now that deserves a pint and a war story." But and I'm, I'm gonna shift his body weight to like look at Candace. We gotta get the fuck out of here. And then I was... <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Can I, can I like also tap Estelle? Like, come on. <laughs> Uh, Asella, yes. Asella, yeah, Asella. Uh, like, come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah. She's on the ground. You help her to her feet, and you guys uh, make your way out. Um, I would like everybody to make a hide check to see, like, because Candace has seen you guys, and it looks like she's coming to you all. Um, so let's see if you guys can get away from her easily. Gonna use my uh, I rolled a six, not gilded, and I had only one dice, so I don't know. I'm rolling great today. <laughs> Fantastic. So six for uh, Millicent, four for Barnes. Five. Five for Cliff. And five. Oh, wow. We all did good. And good five job. for Stella. Yeah. You guys make your way into uh, the crowd and make your way out of Amity Park. Um, uh, who rolled a six? Millicent rolled a six. Millicent, you do see that uh, Candace is kind of like looking for you guys. You just get like a quick view before you duck out of the way. Um, Acela. Yes. I am going to need you. You are going to, sorry, let me just pull this up real quick. Yeah. Um, as you pocket the uh, the vial, the bleed containment vial, and the blood is on your fingers. Um, you start hearing like a, a woman's voice in your head, like one half of a conversation. Mm. And it starts as like, oh, this is ever so lovely. I'm so glad that, uh, that uh, Marzipan told you to call for me because this is just a wonderful time. You hear like a pause for a minute. Why, no, I'm not that kind of girl, of course. Another pause. It's like, well, maybe I could use some convincing. And then a very loud, just like shriek burns through your head. You fall to your knees in pain. Uh, take one brain uh, mark, please. Okay. Uh, you would recognize these to be like the sort of echoes of Mary Smith. Uh, the bleed affects you but it affects you brain wise okay mm. do we see her go down to her knees yes okay uh i will go over to her and be like are you okay i believe so let's get somewhere safer okay Yeah, this is definitely not the time to dally. So where are we going? Well, I'm kind of hungry. So, so maybe yeah. tavern? Bar? Yeah, bar would be great. You still owe me a pint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sorry. Good hit. Good hit. Are you, like, f made of the fucking steel? Like, god dang, man. Um, I mean, are we... Wee bit. Um, it's okay. Yeah, sure. It was so, it was something that they fed me on the farm. I don't know. Uh, yeah, that checks out. Uh, speaking of that, do I take a body mark? Do for I that? take a body mark? <laughs> I I was debating whether or not to do it. Let's just say, yeah, for funsies. Hell you, yeah. You take a body I want mark. a body mark. 
You both get a body mark. You get a body mark. This and you paper, get a body mark. This paper's too clean. Oh my god, the brain. you get a body mark. We're already starting off strong. You know, I got All the brain. Right. Um, can I, he says, like, a bar. Is there kind of a bar nearby, a place that is somewhat respectable for us ladies to also be in? Of course. So, uh, <laughs> it's called the city. You guys, <laughs> you guys are currently in Briar's Green. Uh, this is the most verdant area of the city. And it, it's fairly nice, a lot of flowering trees. Uh, there's not so much like a bar or tavern, but there are like nicer lounge sort of areas, like lounge oh, like sort of establishments in, in this part of town. Um, so you guys can find a lounge place to have drinks here, or you guys can go. Uh, the varnish is probably that has the most amount of like bars and restaurants and things like that, but it's really up to you guys. So we can either go to one of these lovely lounges, or if you're so desperate for your pint. I mean, do they serve pints at the lounge? Every Does every place serve some sort of alcohol? <laughs> okay. Yes, you can get your pint there. That yeah, one. that's fine by me. And I don't have to change who I am. Well, I mean, if it tastes good, it tastes good. Uh, I guess we we go to to one of the lounges a little bit, not exactly by the crime scene because you know, <laughs> right Candace next door. Is looking for us, she's gonna think <laughs> that we're there, right. but maybe you know, a couple just of like blocks a, down, just like a corner diner where like see through windows. Listen, <laughs> yeah. you always <laughs> return to the scene of the crime. They're the never gonna look where you just were. To, like Whataburger or something. <laughs> what a steamed ham. Oh God! Uh, yeah, so you guys definitely find uh, a lounge. Uh, it is called the Emerald Leaf. Uh, it is fairly nice establishment. Round tables in the center. Uh, not really any booths, um, but it does have a small bar area as well. Uh, you guys find seats. Server comes over, puts down some menus, walks away. Okay. So. Did you guys, from our favorite Apple, find any information out from him? Well, he said to uh, go back and check out that, uh, that Rosebird. What's her name? Rose uh, Baxter? And uh, uh, to, oh, to go sorry. to the Love Tunnel. And because he, he said that mm. when he was there, he was unable to get close and that we might find something. I believe uh, it was called Hollow Harbor. Hollow Harbor, that's what it was. Oh yes, where all the young people discover that they discover love. Wait, that's what they do there? I'm... I thought they went yeah, there to... I... Never mind. I get it. I get it. You can be taught. She goes. You can. Okay. I've had a revelation. It seems... Most certainly that the woman, the most recently deceased, was speaking with someone. Moments before her death. Mm hmm Well, I mean, if, from what we've seen, they all were on dates, so... Yeah. Do you think the newspaper, these women had ads upon the newspaper looking for somebody, or... Do we think this is more natural? That there's some, I'm assuming, gentlemen going around and trying to meet lovely ladies on dates and giving them carnations to me. How is a carnation of a different kind upon the chest? Is it the I chest mean, that takes out the, the vial? Yeah. Sorry. Oh. Sorry about I mean, if he, okay. if he's getting if he's getting carnations and chocolate, obviously he has to buy them unless he's a what, chocolatier or a uh, fucking gardener? Do we so, have a map? Uh, you know the city. Okay. Um, you're familiar with the city. What are you trying to ascertain? Um, I'm trying to ascertain how many A flower shops, B chocolatiers are there in existence. And are they around these spots or is there a place that we can kind of triangulate? Uh, that would be like the one place that. 
a person would get these items in town. Right. Uh, so what you would know, there are plenty of flower shops and candy places all over. Um, you wouldn't really be able to determine with the information that you have at the moment, you wouldn't really be able to like pin down particular flower shop or candy shops okay. at the moment. If you think it's mm. natural, then I would take a look at this. And she places down the vial on the table with like these little ice, icy shards and blood in it. Mm. Is that ice? What is that? And she realizes she still has blood on her hands, so she kind of just like wipes it off. No, no, dress. not. I give, I give like her a napkin. <laughs> I just, I oh, kind of like take some like water, like ice water and napkin, and I'm just like, we've been over this. A cell of blood doesn't come <laughs> out easily at all. <laughs> well, I have to get one of the one of the dressers. You up said it was my color. Out. Yeah, as a joke. <laughs> Oh. oh, you can say the killer had a was ice cold to her. Oh, oh, too well. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good for you. That was actually really good. I'm proud. Perhaps um, I... an ice pick. Perhaps an ice pick. Hmm. Mm -hmm. There had been with ice that would be so freezing it would freeze the surrounding blood around it that is already heated up. Well, what if she had a hole in her back? What if it was a literal ice pick? Like, stab with frozen water, and it melted. But while it was still frozen, I mean, I'm no scientist, I don't got the biggest brain, but like, cold, I don't know the, the, the how, how does blood become ice? How cold do you got to get? Did you, oh. Asella, did you happen to um see a puncture hole in the clothes? I did not feel a puncture hole but I, I mean in the clothes but I felt one in her back as I was fiddling around back there. Was the back exposed? Like was the cut of the dress exposing her back? Or was it just like, oh so. Maybe frisky. She said she wasn't a woman of such taste. <laughs> Yeah, they often say that. Well, I mean, not all. You're gonna. Of, you, I'm gonna. Oh, it's the most easy trick in the book. You gonna get you stabbed and redress happen. yourself? What? Anyway. Well, at least just two things: either the murderer didn't want her, <laughs> want anybody finding the stabbing on her back, but that would eventually be found when they did the autopsy. Oh, he did have some sense of kindness to put back her clothes to make it seem that she was a woman of Good stronger standing. convictions. I overheard the uh, periphery in our good friend, sorry again, Barnes, um, that this hole is in fact a common trait between all the victims. Hmm. I think our next step should be following up with Jimmy's tip. I think we need to go to Hollow Harbor. I agree. Hmm. All right. Nope. Yeah, okay, I have a about that. Um, these these old timey dark rides that you know is kind of the first time people were like discovering like, ooh, it's dark. We can make out. <laughs> How, how many people per the boat? Is it two? It's two. Are we... Oh, God. Okay. Yep. Wait, are these like those duck boats? Yep. Yeah. That's so, exactly like, it. This is a trend in this time period. It, 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 te period. it technically seats five. I did a little <laughs> bit of research. That's great. Um, just, a, just a little bit. No worries. Because uh, this was the time period where it's like, oh, we're starting to go away from chaperoning, and these rides were an excuse to have an unchaperoned ride with a man yep. in the dark to do there whatever you go. like. Nice. So, 
you uh so you guys are going to hollow harbor yes but i do think we need to have a plan because we don't uh we don't these rides are very important because they're dark so we should stop the ride once we're in the middle of it to make sure that nobody else is coming and then one of us has to have a light and then we have to hopefully before the attendant finds out i mean we I'm... just bribe the attendant yeah remember what they say about best laid plans they are carny folk. Hey. i mean you you slipped a guy what maybe Give three a... dollars yeah i was gonna say a tenner but you know fine Three bucks. Big spender. I kind of look for Dumb a waitress. question. Would any of us actually know what it takes to bribe like a person like this? I, it, in particular, I do think that Cliff would be the most familiar okay. with uh, the appropriate um, decorum, uh, social, in which to... social selling and decorum to do yeah. such a thing. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I think out of anyone, I have. I think I have the most capital, so I'm going to say in my sheet, I have, like, money, so I can A, pay for our food and drinks here, and B, pay to bribe him. And then, how much money can I bring in this bag? Because it's all loosey-goosey. Um, Would that go in, like, gear? You just have money? Yeah, that's what I was yeah. going to say. Yeah, you're, gear, the, you're the bankroll. Just put, yeah, just put wealth, I guess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> For, as equipment for, with the with the exception of like buying a house or whatever yeah, uh, yeah you have enough money to accomplish whatever mundane tasks you may need to in order to gain access for with through bribes for these things um Scrooge but i will McDuck say levels of wealth bribing <laughs> not wealthy i feel like i have more of that type of wealth that it's more like ah uh, she's an opera singer so we give her credit it's not real wealth <laughs> Exactly. I can easily go into debt. I just don't give a shit. <laughs> so uh, I'll say that, like you know, bribing is also is a two parter. It's not just the money part. There's also yeah. like, you know, trust needs to be uh, yeah, developed yeah. with the same kind of person. Which, uh, we have two options. We can either do a woman's touch, depending on who's the attendant, or we can have a more intimidating touch and i look over to barnes millicent i i'd like to throw out a third option kind of something down the middle this seems like something in my area so and i and i hate to do this but like we all know that you're not rolling in it but you're you're comfortable you're, you're comfortable with your nice dress and your hair and all that you know you're, you're looking great um if i could just get a loan to grease the palms of these folk because like you said they're just carny folk they don't make a lot of money but they're of my ilk and i know my ilk intimidation usually they got more friends seeing as it's an area of common people eh, usually if you're going to do the romantic angle you kind of gotta go far with it and i don't i don't feel comfortable leaving you by yourself like that i'm, I'm just gonna be honest uh so i don't know like a like a tenor you spot me? I look over and I'm like, spend it how you will. And I give it to you. And you... <sighs> she knows that you're going to use part of it for yourself. <laughs> I, I take out a rusty billfold and it's like full of like just paper IOUs and sticks it right <laughs> in there. <laughs> Thank you. Do we head over there? Yeah. Okay. Two pints. <laughs> uh, server brings you your food and drink. You guys eat and drink whatever you guys need to. Uh, and then make your way to Hollow Harbor. Um, in Hollow Harbor, there is the pier. Uh, new attractions, some rudimentary roller coasters, a lot of carnival games, you know, toss the ring, fill the balloon, any number of th fish for, you know, with the wooden thing. Uh, and you guys come to uh the lover's tunnel uh it is as you would expect a large sort of room 
that you can only see the entrance to that has little like waterway with a simple me mechanism that's not very well hidden and a swan boat fit for two. Uh, in front of that is the attendant uh, who looks like a like a like a young adult. Maybe he might or might not still be teenage age. You're not sure. And he's kind of like, you know, leaning on on the on the control panel, whatever, just pressing the button and just like, all right, next. Yep. OK. Let me see you guys come by and I'm like, all right. Ticket. We don't actually have tickets. Uh, we had sort of a favor to ask you, my young friend, and I'll palm the tenor. Oh, you gave the whole thing. Uh, he looks down at the money and just kind of like, what, uh, what can I do for you, my dear friend? You see, uh, we are very interested in the, uh, case that happened recently with, uh, those poor, poor girls. You, you know, the, the, the ones that keep getting off, like, on their dates. Um. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a horrible thing. Anyway, we Horrible. were just... Terrible oh, tragedy. Terrible tragedy. And we were just hoping that uh, mm -hmm. along our ride, you'd be able to, uh, I don't know, take a break during like... Yeah, you know, you know these, uh, these, these rides, they're, uh, they're a little old and, um, you yeah. know, sometimes they malfunction, yeah. you know? So, uh, hey, whatever you need, boss. He kind of looks back at the rest of the group. He's like... Big body, huh? Yeah, I mean, well, big body, big party. You know what I'm saying? I of actually course. have a question for you. I'm trying to yeah, round yeah. up a few uh, new recruits for this operation. Um, what's your name? Uh, what kind of operation? You got any family in the periphery? No, 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 none of none of my families work for them yokes. That's what I like to hear. Um, let's just say it's uh, getting justice for the people. You can call me Scotty. Scotty. I'm Clifford. All right. I'm here Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. All right. Scotty, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesdays. Got it. Evening shift. Asella what? taps Clifford on the shoulder and just kind of whispers, ask the young one if he was here. On the event, during the event. Do you, do you say, say this? What day is it? Yeah. Uh, today is Wednesday. Uh, do you say that loud enough for him to hear? <laughs> Zella? I, I whisper it to Clifford, but it's probably loud enough yeah. to be slightly <laughs> insulting. <laughs> I feel Ask I... the young one. <laughs> uh -huh. He like looks at you and goes, uh, no, that was on a Saturday night. I wasn't here, but uh, my, my buddies and I were talking about it. Yeah, she's so. Well, who works on Saturdays? <laughs> he like like kind of like reacts a little bit. Uh, that'd be Emma. Emma works on Saturdays, but she's she's out of town with on a family vacation right now. She went to the Brittleborn Mountains, visit some family out there. So uh, it's not. You'd have to wait for her to come back. Regain her constitution. Yeah, I should think to it's. Uh, anyway, so your tickets have been accepted. If you please may uh, take a seat. Thank you, Scotty. You wonderful, wonderful boy. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, he presses the button, lets two of you on, presses the button, lets the other two of you on. I, you guys... I give a little yep. clap to Clifford, like, wonderful performance. I took notes. Uh, oh, right. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, as I'm getting on the, as I'm getting on the boat, I start rocking it. Uh, and I'll look back to the, I'll look back to Scotty. Like you didn't happen to see a lady. And, uh, can I give a, uh, an exact description? Of you you can have this conversation before you get in the boat. Uh, if you want. Okay. Just okay. sailing away. Yeah. Uh, well, I meant like one I meant like one leg in, one leg out. Like before oh, yeah. he gotcha. presses Understood. the button. Like you haven't uh you haven't seen a lady that kind of looks like and I'll give I'll give an exact description of the body that we found. Mm. 
Um, if, uh, if, and yeah, if she happened to come by. At uh, least today. The one that you found today. Yeah. Um, no, no, not, not, a not that I can think of at the moment. Not, um, no broad with that description. No. All right. Well, uh, pause it for a long time. We are super in love or whatever you got to tell everybody. Hey, you got it, boss. You got it. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Now, uh, this thing doesn't press. shake, does it? No, 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 no. You're, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I, I inspected it myself just, you know, three months ago. You're good. It's like, <laughs> just be like oversized in like the once you get the clasp down. <laughs> yeah, it, it like doesn't go all the way. He like he tries to like help you and just kind of like, you know what? It's safe. It's fine. It's 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 all right. It's just kind of it's just kind of a little. It doesn't need to go all the way. It doesn't go fast. You're completely all right. All right, you. you... I, I'm gonna grab him by the shoulder and be like, I'm gonna need to hear a click. <laughs> 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 he just kind of like huh um and with the fear of god in him and a big fucking arm and a big fuck off hand he just kind of <laughs> click that's all right good. That's all good. right great excellent let's go i'm click. gonna go to barnes and go i know a wonderful corsetier if you need one no 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 oh. i just fucking hate water <laughs> Did you hear the click that. and the thing starts to go. Um, as you make your way through the tunnel, it is very, uh, you know, very obvious. A lot of roses, a lot of red. There's like oh. these bunnies that are like jump, like these wooden bunnies that kind of like cheat, cheat. And, and you see like, you know, Cupid flying in. And then at one point you come to uh, where the exhibit is essentially the lights are turned off here. Hmm. Um mm -hmm. Like there's still like um, like red red lights like emergency lights here, but uh, whatever mechanism was here is stopped, and that's when you kind of hear it, and then the uh, mm -hmm. bars go up. Um, you guys can step off. It's not oh. very lit in here. Yeah, am I gonna have to use in my emergency gear a light, like a candle? And the the, the scene is your guys's. Okay. Oh. I will so, do. Oh. Go for it, Sella. I just want to clarify. So, is the exhibit land based or is there just water still surrounding us? Because you said step um, off. And I'm going right. to take that so, very literally. Yes. So, the water, like it is water, but it's essentially in a little canal that fits the boat. You can take a step okay. off and there's ground, everything else. It's just like a little, like, wooden sort of pathway that has the mechanisms for the actual ride. And it has the water in that mechanism. That's pretty much it. Everything else is just okay. dry land. Okay, perfect. That's what I just wanted to clarify. Thank you. No worries. Um, I mean, I'll take care of the survival gear, and uh, I'll uh, I'll grab like some roll up newspaper from inside the jacket, and uh, pour a little alcohol on it, and mm -hmm. then light a uh, and then I'll I'll light a. I'll light my lighter and I'll I'll make like a makeshift uh, lamp. You, so electricity is starting to be a thing now. Like if you want to have like a like a very rudimentary flashlight, you can. Think about okay. this time period also like as a little bit steampunky, just a, a little bit. A so, torch. Then so, I yeah. will. I will totally do that instead. Fair enough. It is it is very it's like rare, this big. but <laughs> you guys are members of Candela Obscura, and you guys have access to some high tech equipment. Uh, so go ahead and mark a torch or a lantern or a light, flashlight, whatever you want, off of your uh, as one of your gear uh, things. All right. Um, most of the this portion of the ride is uh, pretty basic. There, are, it's it's a it's a moment in the ride. It's kind of like right smack dab in the middle of the ride where these two swans kind of form a heart, it, where you guys would be going under, and off to the side is kind of like. A, uh, a flower and and uh, heart um, uh, covered like mirror sort of thing, so you guys can look at each other, or whatever. And there's a there's a 
a spotlight that's off currently above the mirror reflecting onto you. It's currently off, but it's like aimed there. As you get down, um, whoever would like uh, can make a, da, 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 a survey check. I will do this. If you don't I... have a dice in it, do you have to use a drive? Uh, no. Ooh. If you don't have dice in it, you can roll two dice and you take the lower one. So if that is the case for you, I would recommend somebody who does have stuff in there I have, to, I have to do it. it. I guild it as well. I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I am confused by what I see. Fair enough. I got a four. Uh, I got a six. Uh, four and a six. Okay. Uh, Cliff. Um, you find what would be a uh, a young lady's shoe on one side of the ride. Um, there is blood on it, but there are also slash marks on it, on the side of it. Um, Barnes, the bouquet of flowers has rolled under the mirror, and you see red carnations. Red carnations still in a sort of carrying case, and it just says Rosemary's flowers uh, under that, the seidel. The seidel you know to be one of the neighborhoods in uh in in town gotcha in in new fair so wow. rosemary's flowers the seidel I'll, I'll kick out yeah i'll kick out the uh the briefcase and be like hey hey you found something yeah I'll, me I'll too shine, shine, shine. <laughs> i'll shine my light at it like like so nothing on the nothing on the shot which I'm kind of going down about about but hey we got uh we got these where we where we found the roses where we can't find the roses. Well, my discovery seems a little less cool. So uh, yeah, the roses. What about? No, 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 no. What you find? What you find? No, what no, did you find? no. It's it's not that. It's just a slashed shoe. Like from the ride or from? I don't know. <laughs> I gave it to a seller. I mean, it runs on a track. It, it runs on a track. It could it could have gotten cut from the track. I give it to a seller. <laughs> Do Michelle looks at it. Because I'm like looking at the mirror and everyone's kind of by it. And I, I'm kind of zoned out because I don't have this. But can I roll sense on the mirror? Kind of sure. to get like a... If there's been a supernatural witness or something within in in that within like the mirror reflecting and this kind of idea of like the reflecting of the water or the reflecting of the light the reflecting of the mirror in this moment and what is the reflection that it saw within this instance yeah make a make a sense check that's another six i'm sorry don't be uh it's a mirror it's a fucking mir fantastic uh, I have is. an existential moment about myself, and then I'm like, "Ah, uh, yes. Um, what?" <laughs> All right, you have your existential moment. Um, Acela. She's looking at it for a second, and then because she does not use her sight, to, she doesn't really rely on her sight for a lot of these things. She closes her eyes and attempts to maybe reveal something mm. using okay. her senses. Make a make a sense check. Please tell me she's not going to lick it again. I mean, double fours. Uh, okay, no, that's fine. So two fours. All right, that's fine. Also, I forgot to roll my gilded, but that's fine. Uh, well, you rolled two fours. One of them had to be gilded. We'll say that you can use a gilded one and get a drive back if you have used a vibe drive by now. Um, yeah. You all get close in on her, and this time you all hear the conversation. You hear mm. a deep sigh. A, ah, you know, it's so hard to get away, just the two of us. Presumably a pause, a, a pause presumed by the other person. I just... And then immediate a shriek a horrible shriek you all take a brain uh mark ah uh, what no i was gonna say could could i make this even creepier by the fact that it would be 
that Acela's mouthing the words as they're yes. kind of like mm. echoing in the room. <laughs> it's like absolutely. Wow. Uh, what the fuck? Yeah, let me what? Be yeah, I didn't. I didn't like that. And I'll I'll pull out my flask and be like, "You you want one? You have such an interesting singing voice." She coughs a little bit and then actually reaches out for uh, his flask. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, what's your whistle? I probably heard a little bit on the vocal cords right there. I grab it from her when she's done. <laughs> that was. That's what the two pints were for. I refilled that. Yeah. Oh. There's oh. there's something very disconcerting to Millicent, uh, because on the stage people are always acting like they're dying, mm -hmm. but to hear somebody actually die within in their head and and it's pure natural form, not melodrama, is very upsetting to her. Um, and she just kind of like wipes away her tears and she's like, okay. Um, you, someone said something about the Citadel. How are you doing? Um, Stella, you, how does she seem? Cause She's taken now two brain, right? Mm-hmm. Um, is there a way that you can detect brain injury within somebody? Or are we trained with that? Brain injury. Brain injury. <laughs> brain injury. <laughs> the throbbing um, forehead. I, I don't Should I think be so. worried? Because Girly Pop is about to get her third brain if she finds another thing to to do. Uh, I don't know. Not to meta game, but yeah, don't, I don't know no if she's looking game. worse for wear. <laughs> Acela is the type of woman who keeps a lot of things bottled up, so mm. she doesn't reveal a lot on her face. Okay. Um, especially in this circumstance, she just like seems to like touch to her throat as if she strained herself a little. Mm. But she maintains a very neutral yeah. facade. She seems fine. Okay. Okay. So. Cool. And oh. just to clarify, in case I, I misspoke, uh, it, it is not a briefcase. It is what would be like a, a paper carrying a sort box. of container. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Like, like not even like a box, like just like the, like the cone. Uh, they, yeah, like the cone. Like they don't have plastic okay. in this time. I don't think, right? I don't know. Not asking. Um, <laughs> oh, my, my my brain went to the box of uh, box of roses from T two. No, no, no. I I got you. Oh, that, it's like that could have been like it. Rolled up newspaper. I was thinking, yeah. yeah, like a like a rolled up. It's it's nice. Like it's very nice. But there is yeah. the sticker there. Uh, Rosemary's flowers. The sidle. Or siddle. I don't know how to say it. I think it's sidle. S i d l e. Yeah, I think we got our next location. Talison, I need you to tell me how it's said. <laughs> thank you. Also, thank you for a great game. I'm pretty pleased. Um, <laughs> I'll uh, I'll I'll take the um, I'll take the flowers and put it put it in our boat, uh, to not leave it here. Okay. Uh, the time established that you guys had uh with Scotty has established is done. You guys get back in the boat and it moves onward. Uh, you guys are back out on the pier. Scotty uh, gives you kind of like a nudge cliff and just says, hey, I, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Scotty. I uh, right. I will be in touch for sure. And hey, Sounds uh, good. in case it wasn't obvious, we we weren't here. Who was here? Who wasn't here? I gave him a little little cheek. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh. I'll walk out and I'll look at the next person that's in line and be like, I shook those bolts loose, I tell you. Uh, and I'll just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> you see this young couple kind of like look at each other and like look back at you and just kind of like. <laughs> and oh, they and get the line it... and the people behind <laughs> them also get a line. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, just, like, just like no, by no, myself. And it's just like, oh, gosh. <laughs> oh. See, Acela's chuckling, but she's like her smile's like. <laughs> She's like walking by <laughs> just to make it even more uncomfortable. <laughs> Two more people leave the leave the line. <laughs> they just see like the four of you walk out and they're kind of like, "Hey, we, huh. it's clean." 
That's what the two more people for. get out of line. I, she's just <laughs> shaking her head and just is like hiding her face at this point. Like I, I, I look back and I'm like, Scotty, extended uh, break. <laughs> extended break. <laughs> Go for a smoke. Read the news. It's a bad habit. Read the <laughs> as you shake your stogie. <laughs> So what would you all like to do? I say uh, we go by the sidle. Yeah. Try to find a flower and chocolate place there. How many are there of flower and chocolate places in the sidle? Uh, well. Is the sidle a place or is it like. Ro a the, the sidle is a neighborhood. Okay. Um, Rosemary's, Rosemary's Flowers is a shop. And uh, uh, the. Yeah, Rosemary's Flowers is a shop in the Seidel. That's how much you know. However, as you guys are leaving Hallow Harbor and the pier, all the red, blue, green, yellow, orange, purple carnival lights that, of the pier start to fade away. You guys make your way off of the wooden planks onto the asphalt, and you hear behind, behind you, Hey! And you turn, and sure enough, Candace Sutton is right there. She gets close to you guys with like three uh, Eon um, enforcers with her. Find anything interesting? And the enforcers, they all like stand up and like, you know, they're getting together. They've got like batons and like guns, and they kind of like, you know, make a show of force. Yeah, three pricks. Ha ha ha, three pricks. I mean... You guys following up on the murders? No, we were just going for a leisurely stroll. I mean, you're the one that seems to be following us. One of the guys is going to come to try to hit you. Uh, mm. I would like to grab his hand. Go ahead, make a make a move I want or a strike up to you. My dance again, she goes. I want to like, <laughs> like out out of like the side of my extra large, you know, clothing. I want to pull out my uh, my rifle. <laughs> okay, God, I will use escalated quickly. I will use I, one I drive. I go and I'm like, oh man, the the boys are dancing, and I look over to Candace. Okay. Yes. You pull your rifle, the other two pull out their handguns and just kind of like, like, here's what we're going to do. So go for, uh, Steve Barnes. Mm -hmm. you so you, you grab his fist. What, what did you roll? I rolled all twos. You so go I'll to use, put your, you I'll go to put your gilded fist. one. Okay. To get back my drive. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, you go to put your, your hand up and he just kind of like, like, as he goes to punch you, he kind of just, like, grabs your wrist, move, and then just uppercuts you uh, and knocks you back. You don't fall, but you take, like, a stumble back, and she looks at you and be like, here's what we're going to do. Question. That's fucking two today. Is it oh. you give us? Go ahead. How many people are there? Like, one ostensibly that's hitting her, or hitting uh, Barnes. Her, uh, take a body mark. Hurt Candace, and then was there one more person or two? There's... Three enforcers and Candace. There's four. It's four for. Okay, that, it's four and four. Then I'm aiming at uh, her. <clears throat> you're aiming at her. The two guys with the handguns are aiming at you, and the other one just punched Barnes down. And he's just like standing over or standing like close to Barnes, like punch Barnes back, not down, and it's just like standing there. Um, here's what we're. Sorry. Was that? Yeah, these are how, eons. Yeah, but how official are they? Could we argue in the court of law that we were threatened? I'm just wondering legally how this would play down. <laughs> You guys, you guys are both both eons and Candela Obscura operate outside of the confines of the law. Okay, so yeah. so okay. this gets settled here or nowhere. Gotcha. Um, can uh, Candace says, "Here's what we're going to do. You're going to give me all of the information that you have been finding about the wraith, and then we will go ahead and capture it and study it." Okay. You just you know use so you many big words. <laughs> The Wraith? It gave us more information than we knew. So we're not going to be much help to you. I'm sorry. What? Uh... Hold well, on. and she just points, and they're going to start shooting. 
All right. Um, going to shoot back, I suppose. Go f make a strike, or or in this case, it would be uh, control. Make a control roll. Control. Anybody else doing anything? Uh, I will strike, and I'll use the drive that I got back. Go for uh, it. Can, um, actually, I'll... Can I argue two of them. that I want to shoot to distract them so that they can get away? I'm wondering how you would go about like doing that. Like, essentially, like, doing cover fire. Like, like not just going right. to stand and let mm. them shoot, but, like, we're all going to... Clearly, guns have been drawn. We're going to try to escape, and so I'm going to what, stay back. And... What I will say... What I will say is that you guys have worked together long enough and well enough that you, in situations like this, have a sort of plan that you guys can... Uh, okay. Can, can engage in. One thing I could do, I have, like... Mag like magician magic show gimmick i was just gonna throw like a flash powder and have smoke kind of go in the air and we like scooby do out like yeah um, uh, you that, can definitely do that, that for everybody or would we rather want to do a fight with us Th this is called misdirection yeah uh and no it's magic show gimmick it's in part of my gear oh it's in your gear yes yeah, so i'm just uh, saying like flash powder yeah no absolutely um, you can go ahead and flash powder. Uh, uh, the smoke screen goes up. Um, Cliff, make a control check. Uh, Barnes, Acela, and Millicent make a move check. So again, and the move is going to be for uh, all three of you to not get hit by the bullets, and uh. Cliff, your control is going to be to see if you manage to fire non-lethally. Okay, okay, so control rather than distract or hide. Uh, if you, oh, would you rather do distract? Yeah, because I want to try to like, I don't, help distract. Because I would feel like distract would be more like what Millicent is doing. Okay. All right. Um, I'll tell you what. Yeah, yeah that's fine. Uh, what you can do is you can shoot out a light, or you can shoot out some kind of okay gas canister or something to aid in that so you can distract that way yeah because yeah, it's because it. it's like dark right because like the carnival lights yeah. are so yeah i'd like to like shoot out a light go for it okay, all so... right so what were our moves what were our three moves um so i have a question uh can how does resistance work adding that dice of resistance do you, you just have get to re-roll re once what okay. you get to re-roll 1d6 per resistance oh, okay. but any any drive that you've that you've used on that roll you can't re-roll the drive you can't re-roll. Can re okay. Right. Yeah. Correct. Because I don't have any move, so I have to roll the two and get the weakest. Get the lower. Oh, correct. Yeah. So um, if you fail, you yeah. can use the resistance to re-roll one die. Okay. I so, got a two. Okay. Got a I'm Barnes. Gonna... <clears throat> so I was planning on throat punching the guy who punched me and then running. Okay. All right. So in that case, you can do... Uh, either a strike uh, or a hide. Up to you. Uh, I say go for a strike. So, uh, all right. That would be that would be a five, and then and then do a move. Um, no, I'll say that with a strike is successful. Uh, you do get grazed by mm -hmm. uh, by a bullet, but you're okay. Um, mm -hmm. it doesn't count against the body mark. Uh, but you do manage to get away. Acela, what did you roll? I got double sixes. Woo! You got Ooh. double sixes. Holy shit. And I'm not, I have nothing in move, so. That's, that, that's fine. So, and then, um, Millicent, what did you roll? I rolled a two. You rolled a two. Two, and I had to take the two. <laughs> You're going to take a body mark. Okay. Uh, so definitely take one of those. Uh, bullet goes straight through, like, right through, like, uh, up over here. Okay. It, below your clavicle it just goes through soft tissue it's not a permanent damage but it definitely goes through um what'd you roll for distract Cliff. five a five excellent so you do manage to shoot uh and and uh light goes out a little shard does fall onto you from the light so take a body mark for that i'm going uh, a cell i have body armor so i can soak one body i'm gonna perfect gonna, there you go use that um, Acela, you roll two sixes for move. Here's what happens. 
I feel like I'm about to do like the whole Scooby Doo Shaggy kind of thing. <laughs> I am the Shaggy today. Maybe a little better. Plus Ultra. <laughs> the smoke bomb goes out. You hear pop, pop, pop. Three, three gunshots go out. You hear boom, a punch. Somebody goes down, and as you crouch down in the in the fog that's been created from the smoke bomb, uh, you see the stiletto of Candace Sutton. You reach out, grab it, knock her no. down. Some papers fall down, and you manage to grab those. A few of those papers, not all of them, and you guys fucking book it. That's what you get for double sixes. Um, as the smoke clears, all you hear in the distance is like, <laughs> it's just a very, very unhappy Candace Sutton. Um, I would like a Sella. Just roll a D six for me, please. And tell me what okay. you get. Three. Three. Unfortunately, everything on the pieces of paper are stuff that you guys already know. Uh, of course. What would you all Perfect. like to do? Uh, am I bleeding? <laughs> you are bleeding. Yes. Um, I'm going to rip one of my petticoats that I'm probably wearing mm -hmm. and essentially try to soak up is, is the bullet in there? Wait, do I know anything about medicine? You don't, but okay. you do have an exit wound. I look at it and I'm like, ah, it's just a flesh wound. It's going to be a great yeah, scar. Yeah, I've seen worse. Okay, well, I'm good. I'm, I'm, this is the right way to react, right? Yeah. I just put some, some things on it and I'll be fine, right? This yeah. is, this is the right. Uh, <laughs> actually, Barnes, um, do the thing. Yeah. Do what thing? Click. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, here. Um, All right. Uh, bite on, bite on this, and I like just like put my hand out like that, just, just gnaw right there. How how heavily am I supposed to gnaw? Fucking <laughs> whatever you feel like, and I'll I'll just like start taking the lighter I and start the burning. Lightest the lightest of nibbles. <laughs> uh, trying to ascertain the situation, because again. <laughs> She's oddly more worried if she's having the right reaction than <laughs> mm. the fact she's been shot. Yeah. I, yeah. I lean over to Acela. I just meant for him to pour alcohol on it to clean it, but he's fucking, he's just going for the burn. This is awesome. Should we give her? <laughs> yeah, I just put my hand out and like, you can bite it out however hard you want. I would prefer if you didn't scream, might give away our location. Also, my ears still hurt from the scream earlier in the love tunnel and i just started like heating up the the lighter and then going to press it against the burn or the the uh the bullet hole okay so what do i need to roll bit. to not scream um let's say i'm like i take the apple i'll i'll say either i'll say control seems like the most appropriate in this case it's nerve instead of okay. cunning or intuition yeah control seems the best Five. I'll give you one. I'll give you. Oh, okay. It's so good. Five. You do manage to keep, uh, mm -hmm. to keep your voice down. It fucking hurts. It is. You got shot with a bullet, and now the wound is getting cauterized. Mm -hmm. And uh, you have an exit wound that also needs to be attended to. <laughs> uh, so, you notice that I guess the five, because it's not a perfect six. She does bite down onto your hand. Um, as, as tears are welling, but you can see how she's just trying, she's like looking you dead in the eye mm -hmm. and kind of gauging more your reaction than her, her own feelings. It's completely like, this is every day. It's mm -hmm. going to be fine. Like, this is not a big worry. Um, and then as, as like that's starting to like seal off and get cauterized, I'll pull the hand back and be like, the best thing that can happen from this is that you have a story to tell. Scars are cool. I mean, this one, and I'll point at the the half of the Glasgow and be like, "It's a. Uh, it wasn't a fun time, but it's how I met you guys. Hmm. So you guys have, you know, 
Semper Serretulus, right? Semper Serretulus. Now this one's going to suck. And I, I flip you around and I just... <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna roll control again. I'm gonna see what happens. It. Gonna smell Go the it. burning flesh. <laughs> oh yeah, I scream. I'm not prepared. Um, I rolled it too. Um, I like. <laughs> you you scream. Um, roll a d6. God damn it. Uh, let's ro roll this rose one. Three. Three. Uh, you hear a voice coming through the fog. It is nighttime at, at this point. You see, you hear a voice coming through the fog. Who's out there? Um, it is not Candace nor any of the eons. It is just you can ascertain from the voice and all that from the uh, gate that it is a periphery officer who has not spotted you, but he definitely heard you. Yeah. You guys are welcome to escape. I yeah, I'm gonna choose to do that. Yeah, fair yeah, enough. I also sounds good. Point. Do we need to roll anything, or does it just go? No, no, no. You guys can just go. He has no no line of sight. It's fine. So it's nighttime. Yes, it is. It is. It is early evening. Early evening. Okay. Yeah, it's like it's maybe a little like mid evening, like set six, seven p.m., eight p.m. The sun's down. Stores stars are closing. Are, Stores are closing, but they're still some of them are still open. Yeah. Can we make it to Seidel within uh you minutes? can make it to the Seidel, yes. Okay. So uh what was the name of that place again? Rosemary's? Rosemary's. Rosemary's. Yeah. Wait, say it again. Rosemary's. Why is it always so so scary? I don't understand. Yeah, I I don't either. Anyway, we're going to Rosemary's. So, I don't mean to make you fun. guys uh, make your way to the Seidel. A small family-owned flower shop, Rosemary's Flowers, six sits tucked between a fine dining restaurant and an alley, across the street from the Vitascope Hall, New Fair's first moving picture venue. There are people going in and out of uh, the first movie theater. Uh, some people going in and out of the dining, uh, fine establishing, fine, finely established, established fine dining establishment. Fine dining establishment. Uh, and you do see that there is uh, Rosemary's Flowers. The lights are starting to turn off. Mm. Um, but yeah, that's oh, what you guys. People. We're, we're, till... we're definitely there. Oh, sorry. Just walk up. Just walks in. We're gonna be those people. They're at closing. Ding, 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 ding. Uh, we're you hear, <laughs> you hear a voice from the back. Oh, sorry, we're we're closed. And uh, from like the flower shop has a cash register and a sort of counter at the very back, and it has like row three rows of um, of basically uh flowers that are presented and a lot of different like pots and and stuff and other accessories gardening accessories on the walls um it is beautifully uh, uh decorated a lot of there's actually a few pothos plants that have the vines going all the way across the ceiling um and from and there's a door that leads into a back room uh from that door there's a woman that comes out with a rag in her hand just swiping and, and a green apron uh, and she goes, sorry, we're, we're, we're actually closed for the night. I must have forgotten to lock the door. Um, she looks the at you all. The door is unlocked. You're Can open. I? A couple things. Uh, one, while we are walking there, I don't want the fact I have a gaping bullet hole um, in my clothing to be noticeable. Is there like a piece of clothing or some sort of accessory that I can kind of fashion as a brooch or something like that? Uh... To kind of cover that blood wound and flower, or do... uh, I would say that it's it's fine. Um, okay. Not a whole lot of people would notice something like this. It's also dark, so okay. right. it's not something that's going to be super present. Plus, your you said you had a petticoat, so the petticoat would be mm -hmm. enough to 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 cover that. So, so good. Okay. Asella, go for it. Uh, she just kind of points. 
If the door is unlocked, then you must be open. Them's the rules. She has a point. <laughs> Those are the rules. She she puts the rag down and gets behind the counter. Very well, young lady. What can I do for you? Do you happen to sell these? And she pulls out the carnation that she has and kind of just like reaches it out to her. It probably has blood on it too. It does assuming, have a little bit so. of blood on it. Yeah. Okay. She looks down and she goes, oh, yes. we." She picks it up. Yes. Why does this have blood on it, dear? Gardening accident. The rose Pride. is the shop. Right. I think maybe we can be a little bit more truthful about things, you know. Murder. And... <laughs> Murder. She... Not us. Your friend. Your friend was murdered with that you... flower. No, it... just kidding. With that... I look, oh, I, I hold on, I like break my sobbing thing and I look over to him like, really? Um, and then I go back. No, well, when afterwards when we were talking to the police and they're still trying to figure out what happened, but we were trying to see if maybe, because we all know how the periphery is, I never get anything done. Now, maybe, maybe, maybe we can find out who did this. And we heard she was seeing a guy and we were wondering maybe... Maybe that guy did that horrible, horrible thing to her. And if you saw that guy, maybe you could help us. Make a, uh, I guess, hide. Can I do a sway? Maybe sway. It would be sway, yeah. It would be sway. Go for okay. it. I will. Thank you. I was uh, like looking through the things and be like, which action is the most appropriate? Yeah, sway would be best. Thank you. I will. I will give her one of my drives. And oh. so you can so you can add on another well, dice. I, I would yeah. say you don't have to because I just rolled a five on my guild. <laughs> okay, you don't have to worry about <laughs> using a drive. Um, well, wait, uh, what's our can? Uh, what's our circle ability? Uh, you have no man left behind. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Whenever your circle takes a scar and drops incapacitated, any rolls a player makes in this scene to protect them uh, or get them out of danger have a plus one d. So at the moment you're fine. Gotcha. Um she kind of like like sits back and uh processes what you what you're saying and just kind of like looks at the flower and just There was a a gentleman earlier today who bought red carnations from me a bouquet and she like looks and she's like yes that's my cut um he was going out with a young lady to amity park he was telling me how excited he was um have they found the boy no not yet but i have a sneaking suspicion soon can you tell us anything about, like, a name or a description? Have you seen him before? Well, he was... No, this is the first time I've seen him. He was... Wait a second. Uh, the murder at the... Just to get... I'm not talking to her, but I'm just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's fine. What's up? Clarifying. Um, so the murder that happened in the tunnel where we saw this tag to the flowers. Right. Uh, That was three days ago. Right? Yes. Yes. And that was on Saturday. It, four days it. ago. Four days ago. Sorry. And she just said she gave this today. So well, the flower, the flower that Acela has is from the crime scene from today. Oh, okay, okay. My apologies. Right, and the the woman that died today died, you know, just a few hours ago. And she died in the park, right? She died in the park. Yes. Okay, fantastic. I just wanted to make sure the timeline. I'm like somebody's time traveling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, there's there there have been four murders. Okay. Yeah. Um. So she goes, uh, yes, a young, a young man. He was young. He wore uh, circle spectacles, blonde hair. But you could see he was trying to grow a bit of uh, facial hair, though not very successfully. And um, that's, that's, I don't remember the name. 
Is it something? Something is the name was something uh, like William or Raphael. Something something elegant. Something uh, his buddy, his friend called him Billy. Yes, yes, William, William. Um, but I don't. And in that moment, you hear a crash in the back room, and you all hear like a screech. She just turns and holds herself back. What are you guys doing? Mm -hmm. Who's here with you? A, take her. Uh, not in like a mean way, just in a like, let's get the fuck out of here, you know, Gonna way. Run as and I'm ready to go with the door with her to help her out. Run as quickly as I can, as stealthfully as I can. Into and the back I'm, room? Into the back room. And I am running into the back room. Okay. Estelle is following after. Okay. I look, so, at, I look at my friends and I'm just like, stay here. <laughs> As I more jauntily kind of go in the rear. Um, not jauntily, but just I'm trailing behind. Right. Uh, Cliff, give me a hide. Um, Are you all going in, trying to go in stealthily? I am not. I'm more watching for my no. friends than whatever is about to happen. Stealthily. Okay. So Cliff, hide. Uh, Barnes, move. Acela, are you doing this stealthily? No. Okay, move. Um, Actually, I might have to. I have nothing in move. I can hide. I can, I can sneak better than I can move. Hide with Go me. for it. Go for hide. Uh, six on the gilded die, so I'm getting the drive back. <laughs> I got a six on the gilded. Five. Sorry. Five. Cliff? F five on the gilded. Okay, five on the gilded. Excellent. Um, and I'll I'll say, I'll say a move as well for, uh, for for Millicent. God damn it! I don't have any, but you know what? I mean, unless you want to hide, it's your decision. I have one in hide, so I'll do that. Yeah, go for it. Four. Um. Okay. So. I got five from basically everybody and a four from Millicent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, six six and it, by me. Right. So Cliff and Acela, you guys, like Scooby and Shaggy, go slightly out of the frame, and Barnes just kind of like the thing running through just kind of slides in, just kind of... And Millicent, you come in trailing slightly behind... You look to see uh, the back of the flower shop, and before you, we're going to take a break. Oh, oh, I got too excited there. Uh, Yay. No. Damn, dude. So we'll be back All in right. a few minutes. Um, don't go <laughs> anywhere. There's probably, let's say, ten, let's say uh, 10 minutes. Let's take a tenner. Enough? Take a tenner. We'll be back take at 928. Yay. Bye. We'll oh, man, it's going to get right. really... It's going to get really ridiculous if we start doing it by references. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome back to Quest Accepted uh, for our second part of Carnage for my Valentine. Uh, as you all were left off, uh, you found out that the carnations uh, all came from the same shop from uh, Rosemary's Flowers in the Seidel. You guys made your way to the Seidel, came in, started to interview Rosemary herself, the shop owner, and heard a crash and a screech from the back room of the flower shop. Uh, Semper Sorelitus jumped into action and ran into the back room. Uh, as described, Cliff and Acela, you guys Scooby-Doo it carefully, by the frame cliff just like slides in just like ready to go and uh mortimer millicent mortimer you sl slide in slightly after kind of like the third head of scooby-doo you guys turn and before you you see two eons agents with electrical batons and a large bat looking creature like if you took bat wings and put it on a scorpion and then gave it 
a like hawk sort of like head that's made out of darkness a large wraith in front of you the three of them going in to battle with each other what would you all like to do watch walk out watch <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah like take yes because what is the mission yeah. of candela Obscura? is it just to get information upon this you're trying to find the uh you're basically investigating the murder you're investigating what caused the murder what the origin okay. of it is and all this other stuff um you guys are just gonna watch them whoa, fight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, 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 Let wait. them fight. So, it, <laughs> is it corporeal? Yes, it's corporeal. Okay. Oh, in that in that case, the this thing came from. Is there a back door? Oh, sorry. Uh, go 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 ahead, Barnes. In that case, um, I'll pull out uh one um. One uh, brass knuckle, and then I'll use my other gear to pull out another brass knuckle <laughs> and uh, clank them together and be like, "Which one are we fighting?" And I'll start. Run I'll just fucking run in, not knowing which target to hit, because I you see I, I hate the annoyance, and I eons. also yeah yeah the uh, the what is it eons e I hate eons. the. Yeah, I hate I the like eons and the <laughs> and I hate the uh whatever bat creature this is. Gotcha. So as you run in, um anybody who wants to make a sense check, go for it real quick. Yeah. Uh I I is this is this considered a phenomenon? Oh, no. I got a three. This is considered a phenomena. All right. Uh, but, well, no, no. Phenomena. Right, I, get, I like to use my extend my senses, which lets me add a number of dice equal to your current in, intuition resistance to the roll. So. Okay. All right. Make a roll. One, two, three. Replace one of the the fourth one is going to be gilded. Four dice here, baby. Two sixes. Okay. All right. So, Barnes, you cling together your brass knuckles. You run into the fight. As you're running in to approaching uh, the wraith, um, you notice behind the wraith, there is actually a large uh, sort of like, imagine like the the stock of carnations. This is where all the major carnations are like off, are coming from. This is where she kind of has like the main stack. Um you see the Ray Scorpion Tail go through one of the Eon's enforcers, just killing him instantly, drops it. It turns on the other Eon. Um, Acela, what you notice, you sense this Wraith is with two sixes. Goddamn. Uh, this Wraith, the Eon's, and you have all found uh, rosemary's flowers at the same time you were all kind of event on your own paths converging here and you all got here at the same time the wraith is a mother and her nest fell through a thinning in the flower shop onto the carnations so you know this at the moment barnes well mm -hmm. semper sorelis what are you all doing Barnes said, who are we fighting? And he just charged in. Well, well one guy one guy's already kaput. Dead. Yeah. Does he does he have anything on him? He has a I mean, uh, yeah. electric baton, like a baton that has an electric uh like taser at the end of it. And they they have some kind of like not a chain or a rope, but some some kind of uh long lengthy material presumably made to capture uh phenomena then i'll i'll drop i'll drop hitting them and i would like to uh slide in and grab the rope okay and then throw it over the tail and pull it back so that way it can't strike with its tail 
Go for it. Make a control roll. No. <laughs> um. Okay. I would like to. Uh, can I add drives onto something I don't have skills in? No. I, I can't do that. Oh, I Wait, can't do that. Do you. Yeah. You're okay. Hold on. You're the muscle. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, yes, That's you can use drive for, for control. For. Yes, you can. You can do that. Yes. Okay. In that case, uh, I will use. Three drive. Go for it. So you would roll a total of four. Okay. Or no, you would roll a total of five and take the lowest. I believe. It's a good question. Actually, no, just uh, a one drive cancels it out. Oh, there you go. Okay, never mind. Thank you. That's right. Uh, so I would. That's the would rules. Do... That's the rules. I'm, we're still learning. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Yeah, one drive cancels it out. So roll four. Nope. <laughs> oh, a six. <laughs> oh. Uh, six on the table, and I'll just re-roll this one that fell off. Yeah, that was a two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, so six. Sure enough, you slide in the the stinger from its tail slides like right in front of your face you like limbo it grab the chain we'll call it chain for now chain kind of like immediately like make a sort of like lasso throw it onto the tail and just like over your shoulder pull it off to the side uh it moves it with your movement and slams into the wall the other eon sees you guys there's a moment of hesitation uh he doesn't really know which one to do and he bolts out the back door the you Eon fucking pansy <laughs> bolts out the back door what are you guys doing there is a particular connection for Acela with again children and a mother um she pulls out her arcane text and consults it to determine how to calm the wraith. Mm. Okay. Make a, uh, you can do either a focus or a sense check to see what you can glean off of. Like this is gonna work. It just depends how well it works. Again, this would be sense, extending or, my senses. Or focus to inspect, my... analyze, or remember up to you. I'll use the sense um, okay. because I'm still trying to understand the phenomena even more. Go for it. Let's go, baby. Six. Six. All right. Here is what you know. Uh, this is the, this mother, this mother Wraith is very protective of its children obviously it's it is completely lost with uh with not being with his children and it just got there and now there are people in between her and she's been like electrified a few times um the thinning is present and thinnings in the flare uh they're affected by many many things magic is not something that is fully understood what you know based on these things she is attracted and like drawn to and the magic sort of the magic of the phenomenon activates with either acts of love passion or lust any mm. of those three actions will kind of like activate the magic activate the phenomena you get the idea that any one of those three actions could either quell the mother make the mother kind of seem like on your side or open the th open the thinning even further hold on Bad thought. Um, this is what you know. The dark thoughts are appearing. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's the point. Hey. Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> she just kind of mutters the words, like, as she's reading the arcane text. Love. I don't what? know if anyone's going to hear it, but what? that's what she, she <laughs> utters. I feel like she'd uh, be okay. right next to me. I'm like, uh, what? what? Not now. Read to put down what she's picking up. Sure. Uh I'll say I'll say care as well. 
anything motherly, caring, uh, okay. nurturing. Fiction. I got a five. I'm going to go over Sell time and place. to Estella, <laughs> and I'm not going to do what you think I'm going to do. I am going to take her hands and look at her and genuinely, because I am concerned about like the amount of bleed she's been taking. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm a little bit worried whether or not, you know, at first I was worried like, oh my gosh, she's bleeding again. So I went over there to check on her to make sure that was the case. And once I realized it, what she's saying, I give her this big hug, like she is my sister. Mm -hmm. and cradles her head into to the crook of my neck. Um, and this is different than what I usually do, because I'm usually playing upon men and manipulating them in some manner. And then this is a genuine moment of, we're going to take care of this, and everything's going to be okay, and I'm going to look to the rest of the party. And the group hug, baby. Like, it's good she's a mother. <laughs> This is uh, consistent with your character's behavior. I will say that behind the carnations, you see uh, the flare burn through the thinning. You see a thinning occur, and a f and the flare is opening. Uh, Cliff, what are you doing? Cliff hears... Barnes is wrestling the wraith. Cliff hears this nonsense coming out of his cell, sees the chance to grab the weapon watches as uh, Millicent comes up and starts just like cradling and and this can I make like a a read to see if I get what's happening because I see Go Barnes like doing his damnedest. Go for it. All right, I'm gonna. Just, you. I'm gonna. Meanwhile, I, Barnes is just beating the shit. I'm just like hugging He's it like, out in the back. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like. Your friendship in these brass knuckles. And I'm just thinking like, like something must be in the air tonight. Uh, two fives and a six. So I'm gonna take the six. Uh, come so on, go back to your home. Come on. <laughs> you have been working for Candela's Grove for a while now. This is your guys' second assignment technically but the uh amount of knowledge that you've gained is plentiful um and you know that things are not always straightforward based on the arcane text based on like what you see uh millicent trying to do you do get the idea that like like you understand pretty well what's happening uh what is the most obvious to you though is that at the moment that the thinning tears open and the flare is visible on the other side this is the opportunity to get rid of the phenomena. Whether you want to try to capture the phenomena or, you know, whatever, um, you you that's your decision. But at the moment, this is the opportunity to try to move the wraith back to whence it came. Hmm. I'm not into this mushy shit. <laughs> Barnes, I like you a lot. Let's get this thing in this hole. God, and I just what run. What the fuck are you doing? And, and, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I come up and I start like nuzzling him in the back and like rubbing his strong shoulders. And I'm like, come on, buddy. It's the only way. Oh, what are you talking about? Get off me. No, get off me. You got to love it. You help get... me with the chain. Help I, me. I'm, I'm trying to help you with the chain. You got to let go of your chains, man. Can, can I mother. do a read check? Yeah, make a read check. <laughs> I'm so sorry I punched you in the face, man. Like I just you don't understand. You, you bought me a you you bought me a beer for it. That is a three. <laughs> you don't understand what's going on. Your party members have gone crazy. Clearly they are affected by something of the wraith uh, that you are immune to at the moment. And actually, uh, as this happens, it's going to scream. Uh, I would like both uh, Cliff and um, uh, uh, Barnes make a uh, a sense check. Oh, no. Ah, disadvantage. Ooh. That didn't go in my box, and they're all cocked. A six and a one. 
Oh. Oh, you both fail then, right? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, both, I, got a, I got a two. If you would both kindly take a bleed. <laughs> you got it, buddy. No problem there, bud. Uh, I'm taking the bleed, guys... right? The, the action does seem to quell the wraith a little bit, but she's still fighting. She's not like, like, the magic has been activated by the acts of caring and love, but that doesn't necessarily mean that, like, you know, this is, like, you you guys got you guys have rolled high enough on read, uh, and sense. It's not that the act is gonna make them go away. It just activates the magic. It activates the phenomena that's occurring here. So, and you do see from the carnations, you see the carnations kind of like open up. And like, imagine like Petey Piranha, like Piranha Plants from from Mario. The the carnations are like basically doing that, and the wraith is just trying to like you know interposing herself between herself and uh, the children. Mm. Can um, I... you you oh. said there was a thinning behind it, right? There is a thinning. There is the thinning is here. The carnations are here. The wraith and you guys are here, and the girls are over here. Can I do the prestige? Uh, which is my one special thing I can do as a magician. It allows me to do like one magical thing, vaguely um, real. Have I heard how these baby wraiths sound like? Yeah, they sound like. Can I? I don't I know if that was visible. If that was heard. Mimic that in the thinning, so she can go to the thinning to protect a baby wraith, like a. Ab absolutely, make a sway check. Let's see if you can if you can manage this. I'm giving you a a drive. A drive. A drive. I will also add a drive because I okay. haven't done that. Go so for it. So I'm rolling for four with gilded. Yes, you are. Uh, a six, a four, a three, and a one. My gilded is a three, but I will take the six. You will take the six. The wraith hears that. Uh, she is now struggling to remove herself from the chain. Oh. Are you going to let go or are you going to let it? Or what are you doing? Um, Barnes. Well, I failed to read, so I still don't know what's going on. Correct. Okay. And Does as far the, as you know, the chirping the, of the children is coming from mm -hmm. the thinning as well. Okay, does the does the thinning have like a vortex like vibe? Like if I throw something in it, or if something's by it, it like sucks it in. No, no. Okay, I'm just constantly saying it's, you gotta it's, let go, Barnes. You gotta let it's go. Fl it's flying right now, right? It is flying. Okay. Um. Asella also starts echoing what uh, Cliff, Cliff is saying. Let go. And, and the 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 bleed. I heard a I heard a giant screech. Right. You heard the screech from the wraith, which uh, okay. caused a bleed mark. Gotcha. All right. Uh, in that case, it has two pincers. It has two pincers. Because okay. I'm going to. Uh... I'm going to disconnect the chain. From the from the tail, but then mm -hmm. re-throw it over its claws. Mm -hmm. And uh, how how big is this wraith? Are you gonna Mario it into the portal? She's gonna like spin it around. Yeah, uh, I'm basically it, I'm basically gonna drag and then just if I can get under it. You. Yeah. Oh, a little bigger than me. Okay. Yeah. Then I would like to grab the claws and then if I can like topsy turvy it back in. Okay. Uh, back into the thinning. Let's say let's say let's call that like you're knocking it down essentially. Let's call that a strike. Okay, and now that I have one bleed, I get two gilded. And then I really need this to work. So I used three drive. I'll give so you... that means I have two left. This is a strike. Right. I'll give you a drive. Okay. And I am all out of drive. Oh, God. No. I would like to spend two resistances. <laughs> Both my resistances to re-roll. Okay. Actually, wait, that would... Yeah. 
Yeah. A three. Okay. A three, three is the highest out of all of those. Here is what happens. Cliff comes behind you. You gotta let go, buddy. You gotta let go. And he's rubbing your butt, your 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 beer belly. <laughs> um, <laughs> you let go of the chain. It turns around. Its claws go down, like to pins you. You grab the claws. You wrestle it back a few steps, and you kind of make eye contact with this, and then you feel you feel a very sharp and then immediately hot sense in the middle of your stomach. As you look down, the tail has gone into your stomach. I need you to take another body mark. Oh, he's down! The wraith? Hey guys, I, is... uh... I don't, I don't really feel too hot. I'm a... I'm just gonna take a little nap in the in the corner, and I'm just gonna fall back. You fall back. The wraith gets away from you. The tail wraps around the carnations. It flies into the thinning, and the thinning is still open, but it is long gone. Semper Serelitus, what are you doing? Uh, I assume that Barnes has fallen back on me. Mm -hmm. and, and like being like oh, oh, damn it buddy you're, you're heavy and feeling like he's like unnaturally like limp on me mm -hmm. I'm gonna try to do what I can to staunch and stop like put pressure on the on his gut to, to, to do what I can to stop the bleeding okay Acela what are you doing? Millicent, what are you doing? To um, attempt to I have a close. dumb question. This thing is affected by emotions of love, lust, uh, companionship, that sort of thing. Yes. When we all see this friend go down. Um, it's gone. How does that... Those strong emotions of seeing, oh my god, my friend is down. Mm -hmm. um, and... And I'm not even sure, like, Millicent is processing this. Like, that there is an actual, like, genuine, real emotion coming out of her. Um, that isn't kind of completely manipulative. Uh, right. Holy shit, my friend's down. Does that affect the thinning in any way? No, it does not. Okay. Uh, are the carnation baby wraiths still there? No. It. The mother grabbed the wraiths and okay. the baby wraiths and flew into the thinning. She's gone. Okay. She's back in the flare. The only thing that is here that is of urgency is your friend is dying. Yeah. Uh... I'm, gonna, I, I'm gonna yell to uh, Millicent, like, help me! I'm running and gonna help. Uh. Uh. Oh! Oh, is it a wound? Can I cauterize it like I learned from him? And just be like, it's Return gonna be a good favor. story! Shoves an apple in his mouth. There you go, buddy. Acela, what are you doing? Acela actually, um, she as she's running by, she tosses an apple to the side, not saying what to do with it, but hoping someone understands. She just runs up in front of the veil and she is going to attempt to close it to at least prevent anything else from getting out that could cause more harm to the group. Gotcha. Uh, you can go ahead and make a sense check, I believe. I think that should be fine. Yep. Uh, you have your text, so it should be good. Uh, go ahead and make right. a roll. I'm going to use um, two drive. Go for it. What are the rules on closing a thinning, Marco? She's just got to be able to use the sense properly. Six. The thinning shoom, closes. Uh much like in the mountains as you succeeded before um millicent go ahead and uh how would we how would we rule this that's a good question how would we rule uh protecting a wound well 
at this point, it's not really so much that you need to do anything about it at the moment. You guys just need to get him to a safe place. And I. We have nobody left am, I, am I completely passed out or still? Uh, I believe that you are passed out. Okay. Like, you yeah, are incapacitated, and your companions need to get you to uh, somewhere safe. Uh, you guys... So, your home, Barnes, is in the steel, right? Yes. That's where you live. Uh, I will say that you guys are pretty far from the steel. However, uh, you're not too far off. You're in the sidle right now. Uh, yeah, everywhere where you guys would probably be is a little far. You guys have a safe house in the Red Lamp, uh, which is like the sex work district, legalized sex work district, and drugs and uh, gambling and stuff like that. Um, and the thinning to get back to your headquarters is probably also in the red lamp. Um, I will say that you guys are able to get to the red lamp, make it back to HQ, to the thinning, to Ash, and uh, you're basically out of commission, but that is pretty much what you manage to do. Uh, if you guys choose to do that, you guys could do something else. I mean, how I think that's bad we do we need do. Barnes? I'm just kidding. Yes, we're going to help Barnes. We're going to get him to safety and, and heal him up. Yeah. Fair <laughs> enough. Uh, you guys pour in to uh, Candela Obscura's HQ. Um, you make it to the infirmary where there are people that are, uh, you know, trained to take care of these sort of things. Um, as you guys are there with Barnes, you have... Barnes, I would like you... Actually, before that, uh, you guys are there with Barnes. He's been patched up. He's he's OK enough um, with that. Ash Hathaway, your lightkeeper, walks in. Uh, he takes a look at uh, presumably you are on a gurney uh, and being tended to with your wounds. What does your body mark look like? I, I scar. Think... What scar do you have? I think once you take off the the white shirt, um, you would see uh, basically the same. Well, a cellar would see the same imprint, or it would look like what you felt on the dead body. Um, it's icy to the touch. Uh, however, uh, it's weird. His big beer belly uh, now has a concave spot right where it hit. Mm hmm. And then uh, a around it uh, and all the way up into uh, pretty much the neck and the arms, uh, all the veins that are around that spot are just uh, black. Hmm. Ash walks in, takes a look at you guys. He just has his hands in his pockets. Looks at Cliff. So was this a success or failure? success at a cost yeah he leans close to you Barnes how you doing man uh, never better never better <laughs> it's like shit you three uh you three mind giving me a second with this guy yeah thank you take your time he takes the he takes the the curtain closes it and sits down next to Barnes. Well, uh, starts to t undo his vest. Mm -hmm. All right, buddy. Just because you earned this badge of honor. And he's going to lift his shirt, and you see the same wound right there on his side. Wraiths are a fucking bitch and a half, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, no kidding. What uh, what happened to you? I mean, obviously, I know it was a wraith, but what was your story? I want to say this is actually my first wound. Uh, it was on my very first assignment. I got too hot-headed. I ran in. I uh, thought I could just handle the wraith on my own. We let our muscle guy outside. You know, I'm more like the sweet talker, but uh, I just decided, you know, I got to do what I got. I got to prove myself because these guys were veterans. These guys were vets. And, uh, you know, I was a young, dumb kid. Uh, and next thing I knew, I came I came up to the Wraith. Uh, and uh, I woke up 
here. Oh, we got very similar stories. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thought I could handle it. Turns out I couldn't. Some lovey-dovey stuff was, I guess, going on. <laughs> Didn't understand that part. But, I mean, they must have done something right. Because I was out when they fixed it. Yeah, it's so a maybe, team effort. Maybe lovey-dovey shit is what you need in this world. Well, if it's a wraith like I think, and uh, it's not the same kind that I've in, uh, encountered before, uh, but you know, when when these phenomena, when they uh... <laughs> phenomena, sorry, a little, <laughs> a little out of it. Uh, uh, you know, no, it's a very strong, strong, very strong thing, thing for them. them. I, mean, I don't really, I don't really, really understand, understand that magic exactly, exactly yet, yet, but uh, but it's it like. like, like Emotion plays a very, very strong role. role. So, so it could be that some lovely, lovely shit was necessary. We'll get the full deep debrief once we're better. It takes some time, and then we'll meet in my office whenever so everybody's ready. Yeah. Uh, he I'm opens the. Yeah. I'm Go for pass it. out. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> he gets behind the curtain, looks at you three. So, Bond's going to take some time to recoup. How's everybody feeling? You guys all right? We uh, uncovered what was happening, um, thanks to all of us, and uh, Emily Wraith with her mother. Wraith no, that e the carnations were children. That explains Wraith. it. Yeah. Yeah. The cell's just eating a caramelized apple at this point. Cliff waits for his moment and takes a bite of the caramelized apple. Can you I can't see it on her face as well. Oh. I just joined oh. in. You can't see on her face, but you feel that she's upset. Oh. <laughs> this aura. <laughs> this forever. She's like, this is my apple. <gasps> yeah, Cliff. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll to see if I read that. Okay. <laughs> Five gilded. <laughs> and... Yeah, she. She's not happy about it. I I slide her a pe like whatever it costs for another caramel apple and I'm like, we'll get you another one. She takes it and stores it. Yeah, clip something on your mind. I shared feelings today and uh, I don't know how to feel about that, but uh... <laughs> yeah. I'm well, Tell you what, you guys take some time off. When Bonds is feeling better, we'll debrief. We'll go from there. All right. Good job, kids. Is yeah. it possible? Probably it might be some good information to steal or get the medical records from Bonds and what happened to him. What do you mean? Like, you know, the stabby stab and the frozen stab, and I feel like that might show up on the medical charts. That might be good documentation. Uh you you guys are not in a hospital. You guys are in the Candela Obscura's infirmary. Oh, okay. So yeah. they can get the information from his. It's it's not. They, you Candela Obscura has its own okay. uh, facility to treat its agents. You guys okay. never went to like a a a hospital in Fairview. Okay, that makes more sense. Sorry, yeah. I just yeah. I thought we were. No, that's just fine. You, you guys went to the. You guys w went to the Red Lamp. And okay. went into like your safe house, and then went into uh, where the flare. It you guys crossed the thinning that you guys have open for crossing mm -hmm. into the flare for the Candela Obscura HQ. Uh, so that's that's where you and that's where the infirmary is. You're not in an actual real hospital. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it takes about a week for y'all to get better, and then. Uh, as is usual, per your end of your missions, you guys meet back in Ash Hathaway's uh, office. He opens his little black notebook, looks at you all, and goes, All right, Sempus Aurelitus, did you destroy or contain a source of bleed? Yep. Perfect. Yes. Did you provide comfort or support for those affected? Some people did. And I, I look at them. 
Mm-hmm. I kind of look over. Yeah. All right. We'll say we'll say we'll say Barnes counts as effective. That's well done. Uh, did you bring That's something of importance? And the lady of the flower shop. I'll count it. Uh, did you bring something of importance back for Candela Obscura to study? I point at Barnes. Got a shoe. Yeah, and I think you got a Someone vial, holds up right? The containment vial. Yep. Yeah. She holds up the containment vial. Fantastic. All right. Love it. All right. On to you guys' individual ones. All right. Let's start with you, Millicent. Uh, did you... Wait, hold up. Let me... Just gotta, like, remember how I'm doing this. Yeah. So this is something that's really, like, for you guys personally, but Ash is aware. All right, Millicent, did you perform a trick, spot a ruse, or seek out real magic? Yes, I performed a trick on those Eon bastards. Fantastic. Extra points for that, not extra marks. Uh, let's go with... Uh, Sela is not present. <laughs> Asela. What? Uh, did you consult arcane text, collect oddities, or act bizarre? Yes. Fantastic. All right. Barnes, did you study an artifact, discuss history, or run into danger? I mean... You yeah, you don't need to answer, buddy. I see. Okay. <laughs> You're good. You're good, man. You're good. All right. And Cliff, did you do something illegal, make a deal, or stand up to authority? Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah? All right. What'd you do? Well, I'd like to think I stood up to those fucks, but unfortunately, Bond's got in the way. Sorry about the chin. I really feel bad, especially... Anyway. Hey, I mean, that felt like Candyland compared to this. Hey, my wrist still hurts. (laughs) Candyland my ass. So, yeah, that... But I also like to think I made a deal and a new ally. I gotta follow up with the kid, though. Fuck. All right, good to have sea eyes. Sounds good to me. Yes, yeah, sea eyes. That's what he'll be. All right, sub surrealists. I appreciate your time. I appreciate your efforts. You guys are good to go. I will call on you when you have your next assignment. Any questions, comments, concerns, complaints? Yes. I would like my supply of candied apples to be refilled at least once a week. Thank you. Double dipped, yeah, too, we... please. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Why not? Why not? He may, he writes down, makes a note. Why not? Candied apple. The kid deserves it. Let's go. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, your efforts, and your success on the mission. Uh, we'll be in touch. We'll be here. Yep. Better rest up, I guess. You do that. So you got like two belly buttons now? Yeah, pretty much. Hey, look at this. I found this out when I was trying to get off the gurney, and I walk to a wall, and I'll lift my shirt up, and I'll just kind of like suction cup the hole onto the wall. (laughs) You're like, whoa, 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 quiet, 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 quiet. Quiet. (laughs) Pop. (laughs) Yeah. I. It feels weird when I do that. I can still feel the ice, but you know. A man. Of, I love it. A man of million. I ever need to climb a wall? I think I got an advantage. Oh, oh, yeah. God. You all go back to your homes, back to your daily lives, doing what you have to do until Candela Obscura calls you once again. Uh. For the time after, there are no more murders of the same sort, and the citizens of Hale and Fairview are once again safe, thanks to you all. Thank you all for joining us tonight uh, for assignment number two for Semper Surrelatus and first assignment and first stream ever for Quest Accepted, a carnage for my Valentine. Uh... We'll stay in touch. We'll have another stream at some point in the future. We're still going to decide when that is and what that's going to be. But thank you all for joining us tonight. And uh, stay weird. Before we go, we do have a couple of shout outs. Oh, please. Yes. Uh, First off, uh, Emily, if you want to like plug what you got going on. Oh, yeah. 
Hi. Yeah, sure. Well, as I said earlier, I'm part of the Missing Role Player Found podcast. Uh, we do uh, basically actual play, but it's produced play. So we edit our episodes so it sounds really fantastic, and uh, we cut out all the boring parts. You can find us pretty much anywhere where you listen to podcasts, YouTube, Spotify, Podchaser, Podbean, blah, 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 etc. That's pretty much it. It's a lot of uh, fun coming Missing out. Role Player Found Twitch channel is in the chat. So if you guys mm -hmm. are clicking in the chat, you guys can go to that page, hit follow, and better yet, hit subscribe. Absolutely. I am failing Anything here. else? Yeah. Meth, meth? Our uh, wonderful... Semper, uh, Semper Curilitus, Curilitus, we kind of messed up the name the entire time. You can read it. Uh, it is Curilitus, technically. The uh, the art. Doesn't matter. The logo was made by the wonderful Breakfast King, where the A in breakfast is, so B-R-E-4-K-F-A-S-T-K-I-N-G. Thank you, Breakfast King, for the wonderful art. We appreciate you. That is true. Thank you very much. Uh, are we good? I think that's it. Is that everything? Yeah. Else? I'm trying to think of yeah. something else. Fair I enough. Mean, well, thank you all so very much for joining, and uh, have a good night. Bye. 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 One and done, baby. <laughs>